Jungle Boy versus Cody. Apparently, Jungle Boy's hometown is Valley Village. <laughs> Valley Village. Not Valley Not Village. Valley. See, I heard Valley Village like four times. <laughs> I keep rewinding. They say a popular thing telling that man from Valley Village. Yes. It's Valley Village. Valley I Village. Valley Village, California. I don't know where the hell Valley Village is. I guess it's the jungle, I suppose. Sure, yeah. It's wacky. Let's see Valley Village then. It's even better. So, <sighs> there was so much wackiness in this match. The first big spot of the match is they're brawling on the floor, and Cody goes to grab him and lift him up and throw him over the barricade. But it's not like he throws them onto the floor or onto chairs. He tosses them into the waiting arms of the gun club. Big, giant, jacked-up, 280-pound Billy Gunn and his grown-ass son, they're there to catch him. Like, this is not a violent thing to do. The match keeps going. They're fighting outside the ring. Cody hits a headbutt that launches Jungle Boy backwards into the wall. Cody decides, I shall do another headbutt. He <laughs> rears his head back. Like, Cody, dude. What were you like thinking, buddy? He throws his head forward, and Jungle Boy dodges, and Cody headbutts the wall like the biggest dumbass on the entire show. This is Braun That's Strowman territory. Did. This is Braun Strowman territory here. Stop running. Just stop running, Braun. And Cody, stop trying to headbutt people against the wall. <laughs> Bad idea. The wall. You moron. So Jungle Boy goes to pick with MJF for a minute or two. Next time he sees Cody, he's just bleeding everywhere. So Jungle Boy works that cut for a while. Cody makes his comeback. It's a big great superplex. There's a table on the floor. I'm not even sure when it got set up. I think when uh, Jungle Boy got thrown into the gun club. Both guys fall off the top rope to the table. There should be like this big giant spot. And it should be like replay after replay after replay. And within like 30 seconds, they're both in the ring doing moves, and Cody just wins with crossroads. I thought this match was great. I thought that it was it was everything you want, which is, you know, Jungle Boy is not ready to win the TNT title yet, nor should he have because Cody just won it. So Cody's job is to go in there and make the guy look great and give him a lot and then beat him at the end. And as a fan, you watch and you know, well, you know, the Jungle Boy didn't win this time, but one of these days, one of these days, that Jungle Boy is going to really be something. And he was a he was a good guy. But he wasn't a goody two shoes, to use an antiquated no, no. term. When he saw that fucking cut open, he was gonna punch that thing. He went to work on that cut. He was trying to win. And Cody gave him near fall, near fall, near fall. You know what I felt watching this? Some people on the internet are gonna be appalled, but too bad. Cody is like he's doing the Okada thing when Okada was the champion. Where Okada's doing all these matches. And he's wrestling all the top guys. And he's winning. But you know that he's getting worn down. And one of these mm, yeah, days, yeah. one of these days, it's going to catch up to him. And granted, it's only the first one that Cody has done. But Cody has vowed, I'm going to defend this title every week. And he had a, he had the first, the very first week wasn't even like a walk in the park. Got fucking busted open. Jungle Boy took him to the limit. Who's only got like one or two wins ever on Dynamite. And it was rough and he came out of it bloody. And so now next week he's going to face Mark Quinn. And I'm sure he's going to beat Mark Quinn. He's going to sell for him a lot. And then the week after that, he's going to, he's going to win all of these matches. But it's a very easy story. Like he's winning against all these guys, but. He's getting beat up, and he's getting beat up, and he's working every week, and it's a rough schedule. And and you know that one of these days, it's going to catch up to him. And it may not even be like a top guy. It may be a mid-card guy, who it's that guy's lucky day. And when it happens, it's not like you're going to think that the guy didn't deserve to beat Cody. He will have deserved to beat Cody. But you will also know that, man... You know, it was a schedule that Cody did that caught up to him in the end. And and it's also good because you'll feel like anybody could beat him on any given day. And I don't know when it's going to be. I don't know who it's going to be. But it's only been one week, and I already really like the story of Cody defending the title against anybody on any given week. I thought this was great. <laughs> 